Hey, welcome back to Dog Six Studios. Today in the studio, Tiny Epic Dungeons, the last Tiny Epic Dungeon model we're gonna do. Finally there, and it's gonna be on an Elf Warlock. Uh, you know, this paint job, I, I saved this one for the last because it was a little bit smaller, or not smaller, a bigger of a model, a little easier to paint. And it turns out this model's a really simple paint job. It's the robes, cuts a little touch-ups here and there, and what's gonna happen here is the OSL, Object Source Lighting. That is what's gonna make this model stand out. So we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna be doing that with an airbrush. Uh, you don't need an airbrush to do it, but the airbrush makes things really easy. Um, if, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you should go get yourself an airbrush and start knocking it out. It's not too difficult to learn. Matter of fact, I'll probably do a video on airbrushes pretty soon. Um, so there he is right there, Elf Warlock, Tiny Epic Dungeons. Uh, guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. All right, let's get in there and knock him out. Dungeons, a Taurus Elf Warlock. He looks pretty menacing. Check him out. All right, guys. Well, the model is a little different than the picture, so I uh, can't really tell what color his his robe is. So we're gonna go with a purple. So I'm gonna use Magos Purple Focus there, right there. We're gonna do that all over, and then we will do some accent on the skull. He's got a little skull right here, and also we will we will highlight his eyes. Eyes, hands, and skull, and we will do OSL with the airbrush here. All right, let's knock it out. Let's keep this simple. We're gonna throw this Magos uh, purple on here. Real, real liberal, just get it on him. Just get it all over him. Doesn't really matter, we'll fix up all the pooling. If we have any, we'll get it. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Liberal. Real quick. There we go. Just get it all over this guy. Real simple paint job. OSL is what's going to be the fun stuff here. This is just going to be pretty basic paint paint job. Purple. Highlight the purple. Do his skin. Actually, I should have done that. But uh, all right. Let's just get it all purple. Went ahead and did a second coat on that Magos purple. Made it a little bit deeper, a little richer. Looks really good. Let's let that dry. And then we'll work on that trim. All right, let's go ahead and get this skin. There's not too much skin on this guy. Good color. Let's get those, uh, his horns up here. They look black, but uh, real simple. We're gonna do the, we're gonna do the trim all around the edges. Doing this with Aberlin Sunset as usual. You gotta be real careful here, guys. This trim is not easy. Take your time as usual. There. There. Very careful here. There we go, we got the Avalon Sunset down on the trim, just around everything. It's pretty dull, a little faded, but that's okay. We're gonna come back here with that flank shell and a little bit of white, and we'll make it pop. Just real light on some of the higher areas. Right. This is a mix of Aberlin Sunset and Flank Shallow. 
so it's not the brightest yet but we're gonna get there take our time build that color up real simple strokes right there now we're going in with just pure flanks yellow There we go, straight flank yellow. See how that yellow pops? Now we're gonna do a touch of white to make it even pop even more. Right here we're moving in with uh, white, or actually it's ivory, mixed with flanks yellow. Just here and there. We're not going crazy. That. Isn't that nice? What I like to do after I've done a yellow is I like to take a, like a sepia wash or some type of, of light brown wash and go over the yellow part. You can even water this, this wash down a little bit if you like, but we just want to go over and make it stand out just a little bit more, right? This will dry nicely. See that? Giving it a little bit of a little bit of depth here. Gonna get the change with the the chains with some uh, Vallejo acrylic metal color uh, silver. Right there. Great paint, by the way. So what I did is I mixed the Magos purple here with a Vallejo violet blue. Changes a little bit of the consistency of the paint, but it's still, yeah, you, you can mix these colors together. It's not a problem. So let's see, let's go. Went a dead ahead and did uh, blue violet uh, by itself as a highlight after I did the Magos violet mix. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some of this Warlord purple in here, just here and there on the, on the edges, and then we'll start working on uh, that OSL. Oh, I take that back. We'll, we'll fix these horns, we'll get the highlights, and then we'll start working on OSL. For this, uh, I went ahead and mixed the uh, violet uh, what is that again, sorry, the blue violet with the uh, Warlord purple and we're gonna see what we come up with here. It's a bit of a lighter mix. Mm. Not bad for the edges. Hard to see. Hard to see, isn't it? Let's see. Let's try this. And tip. Get a little sun here. There we go. Right here, Get a little spot on the head, shoulder, pad, arm. Let's just get it close to the end down here. Going straight, uh, Warlord Purple. Just here and there. Just little pieces. Almost makes it look a little too pink. That's okay. Let's 
do the uh, rubber highlight for the highlight on the the horns on the skull on the shoulder so a little bit of highlight here for the tip right there for these as well get those There we go. This guy is done except for the OSL that I'm gonna put on the hands. And I'll put a little firelight in that little skull right there. Maybe even touch on the touch on the top, but it looks a little too small. But so definitely the skull on the side we'll we'll get some fire eyes in there. And we'll start the OSL. Let's let this dry up. We'll start the OSL on, uh, on the hands. Object source lighting, for those of you who don't know what OSL is, we're gonna make those hands glow like like he has fire in his hands here. All right, let's let that dry and get to it. All right, let's go ahead and get this airbrush. Right there. Right there. Boom. All right. Oh, let's let's go ahead and do this real light. Right there. Looks pretty good. There we go. We got some OSL on there. I'm gonna put some orange to represent some flames on his hands. Uh, we'll see what we can do there, and then I'll touch up that skull a little bit. Um, other than that, he, he's pretty much done. Let's get that orange on there. Oh, we gotta get the eyes. All right, let's let that dry. Just like we used for the uh, for the OSO. Cut those down, make them look like flames a little bit. How bad? Well, I think that's it. Elf Warlock, Tiny Epic Dungeons. We got the OSL on there, we got his flaming hams, we got his flaming eyes. I even put a little couple little dots in the skull there. Probably give that a quick wash. And then we're gonna hit this up when this is dry, we'll hit it up with our usual uh, Ultra Varnish Matte, AK Interactive. So, we'll do that. Uh, Tiny Epic Dungeons, uh, pretty much done. Uh, after this, we're, we're good to go. We're gonna base him, and uh, that's about it. I'll do that as soon as it's dry. I'll base it, I'll, I'll uh, spray it with the uh, matte varnish, and then we'll take a look. Let's get the uh, matte varnish on there. That'll dry nice and matte. He'll look great, and he's protected, ready to go.
Oh, there you have it, guys. Tiny Epic Dungeons Elf Warlock. Wasn't too bad. The, like I said, the paint job was real simple. Just painted that, that uh, what was it, Magos purple on there with the contrast paint and then touch it up with some other paints uh, and then hit the boots, the horns. Uh, what else? Uh, his hands, his skin, that was light. Did some touch-ups on the, oh, and the trim. We did the trim with the Aberlin Sunset and the Flanks Yellow. Uh, I really like that combo. It makes stuff stand out really well. Guys, that was it. That's Tiny Epic Dungeons, all good. Gamelin Games, go check them out. Love the models. It's been a lot of fun painting these. Uh, I can't wait to get this to the client. They're gonna be really happy with it. They're, they've been watching these videos and they're just chomping at the bit to get into this game. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Uh, please like and subscribe, but always help support the channel and we'll catch you next time oh hey stay tuned again boom squigs coming up give me a comment and a link a uh, comment below about the skin of the squigs and the orcs all right right there all right guys thanks a lot we'll see you later and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe